Hello Loveland. I'm here with uh, Dave Kennedy, Loveland City Manager, and Rob Stanzel, Loveland's Development Director. And uh, they have some uh, exciting news, I think, and I think they'll, they'll tell you it's exciting news too, and that, that is that there is a proposal to, uh, for a commercial development on the former Loveland Bowling Alley site. Yeah, thanks Dave. Well, as most people know, the City of Loveland owns the old Bowling Alley site uh, on Loveland Madeira Road, uh, former Loveland Lanes. The city's owned it since 2014. Uh, in an effort to work towards the development of that project, the city put out what's called RFPs, which stands for Request for Proposals. So, like I said, it was not just about the money to be received, it was also about the quality of the development. So we received a proposal from Angle Schuler, and I'm just going to have Rob give you an overview of the details. Big. We don't want to leave that out as what they propose to pay for that. So yes, sure. The fact that Loveland is going to get their money back. Yes, the, the proposal. The proposal included a purchase price of five hundred forty thousand dollars. Currently, we are right around five thirty nine. As I mentioned, the building de demolition, which was around forty three thousand, was completely funded through a grant, one hundred percent. Their proposal for this parcel, which is six point five acres, uh, is two concepts, and I'll just show you this briefly. The first concept is, if I can hold this up and you might be able to zoom in on it, uh, encompasses two uh, office buildings, uh, retail out in front of about 9,800 square feet and in an office building, three-story building in the back. So this, this is Love on Madeira Road, yeah, there's right. parking here. That's correct. The One unique. building, two buildings. And the, uh, the renderings, these are a little bit hard to see, but this shows concept A, where if you just focus in on this section here you can see there's a three-story office building in the back professional office building with retail in the front of about 10,000 square feet the second proposal includes uh, three buildings and I'll turn it around this way so it's more in it more towards the actual layout we've got a one-story office building in the back we've got uh, a two-story office building could be medical arts professional uh, businesses and then a one-story retail of about 10,000 square feet with a, a proposal is for a restaurant to have outdoor living hang over the uh, wooded area and overlook that creek. Now both of these proposals uh, investment-wise as far as Hinkle Schuler's total investment range anywhere from about 7.8 million to 8.9 million. So that's, that's what it looks like. We're real excited. They are doing marketing now for probably the next three to six months. Uh, they, have right. to, they have to enter into a purchase agreement. Uh, select them as the preferred developer. And what we're doing with that is, that is basically giving the Hinkle Schuler Group a 90-day window to know that the city, they have exclusivity with the city and that the city's not going to sell the property in 90 days. During that 90 days, this day, Hinkle Schuler Group is actively beginning the marketing, trying to find tenants. What the city's doing is we're working on the purchase agreement. So as all roads lead to 90 days from now, we will sit down, have another CIC meeting, and if all goes well, I'll be authorized to execute a sale. 